jumper Mike Court Jewell, who took a heavy fall in the Victorian Grand National a fortnight ago, today won his second South Australian Grand National hurdle. The nine-year-old, who's close to retirement, won his first national three years ago. He jumped perfectly to bring up the double comes out after this leader. It's Robsy at the second last, a length and a half to two clear of Mike Court Jewel. It jumped it all right. Third placing Art Style, then another nugget, followed by Golden Ninja whacking away. Mike Court Jewel is wearing down Robsy as they come to the last. They take off. Robsy headed by Mike Court Jewel. Is this Mike Court Jewel's second Grand National for Dominant? It is. Mike Court Jewel is coming away and Mike Court Jewel will dominate in the Dominant Grand National. It's cleaned them up by about three to Robsy. Third I'm not sure about. He's a great old horse and he took his stakes now to pass the quarter of a million dollars mark. A treble to apprentice Mark Flaherty and Western District Galloper Ter Silver posting his fourth win in a row, the highlights at Caulfield today. Not a favourite successful, the average winning price around about 7 to 1. First on the card and this was won by Hay Dance, which started at 11 to 2 over Sericulus and Cash On. The second to greet our guest, a very smart filly scoring well. The third to Novak, that was the first of a treble for Mark Flaherty today. So we go to race four. Irish Catch took the lead running down to the 200 metre mark. Irish Catch in front but My Wander and Star soon after races up on the outside to throw out a challenge. My Wander and Star the outside and Irish Catch fighting it out. Nothing between them. My Wander and Star. Now Paddy Payne goes for the whip. Irish Catch fights on well. Irish Catch just. Irish Catch won it by half ahead. My Wander and Star. They streeted the rest. Six lengths away. Third was Royal Snack. Wait told the story there. Irish catch in receipt of nine kilos, able to edge out my wandering star. An open affair, race five. The car of the leader in the straight from out for the count. Imperial Bounty racing greenly coming at them and then Super Veet. But the car is still in front of out for the count passing the 200. Imperial Bounty is balanced up and coming well now. Imperial Bounty races away. Imperial Bounty about a neck in front of out for the count nearing the line. Imperial Bounty and out for the count. Imperial Bounty went a long head to out for the count. Now third placing is a photo between McCarthy which flashed home. That was Jason Patton's high for the day. The low came later when he suffered bruising in a fall in race seven. Race six, another wide open affair. Bahrain reached the lead from Durham Rivers inside the 200. Expected Journey and Foxwise are coming at it now. Expected Journey and Foxwise got the Bahrain. Expected Journey and Foxwise, nothing between them. Expected Journey the inside held on. Expected Journey has beaten Foxwise about a half head and two lengths to Bahrain third. Expected Journey got the money at 12 to 1 over Foxwise at 5s, Bahrain at 13 to 2. Ter Silver again too good in race 7. Silver led in the straight and he's kicked away from River's Edge. Going for four in a row, Ter Silver. Out by two and a half lengths to River's Edge. Then Fame the Spur and the Farmer battling along down on the inside, but Ter Silver's clear. He's racing in grand form. Four in a row and Ter Silver comes on to score well. Ter Silver scores by about three lengths to Farmer. River's Edge third and then. Well, they say the more you win, the better the price, and there it is, Ter Silver at 6-1, to one, beating the farmer. And the last on the card was won by Impulsive Risk, completing Mark Flaherty's treble. The daily double today, $32.20. The extra for 3 and 10, $39.25. Quaddy paid $1,949.10. Quad extra, $5,221.45. Nobody picked the last six winners. That jackpot's to sand down Wednesday. That's all in sport. Thanks, Sue. Okay, Greg. Thanks. See you tomorrow. OK. Now to the weather. Around Victoria today, some scattered showers falling as light snow in the Alps.